So today I would love to share with you an idea for cabbage rolls. Many of you may have had cabbage rolls the traditional way with some beef and tomato. And today I want to put a little spin on that with some Chinese cabbage. And I'll make an Asian inspired cabbage roll dish. And so I had this wonderful head of cabbage growing in the garden and I went ahead and harvested that on May 21st. And I thought I would do this a little bit differently. A lot of times I pull my whole plant out and then I'll come behind it and plant something else. But this time I wanted to do an experiment and see how it would grow. And so I left some of the outer leaves in the garden bed and then I slowly just kept it watered and just kept my eye on it and here in about the first week of June is what it looks like there are some smaller it looks like smaller heads growing back in the center and I'm slowly pulling away the old outer leaves which are yellowing and dying off so I'll keep you guys updated on that and let you know how it grows now for their cabbage rolls I also needed a few other things and so at my river square foot garden I've been pulling some scallions and taking those home with me so that I could use them in recipes since they were really just beautiful and then some cilantro leaves and then last fall I froze some lemongrass like I showed you in my how to grow lemongrass video I like to keep that in the freezer so that I can use it through the winter and then into the spring so I had several stalks of that I'm going to use it along with some of my kaffir lime leaves and also a kaffir lime which I froze from the fall harvest as well and then I'll use some of these Thai hot red chili peppers now you don't have to use all of these ingredients I'm going to give you an easy substitution so for the cabbage rolls you will need 12 large Chinese cabbage leaves if you're harvesting it from the garden just use those outside leaves this is a perfect way to use those I'm going to use two pounds of a lean ground pork I just went ahead and I ground some myself um, some pork chops were on sale and I'm using some curry paste which I'm going to make but you can certainly buy curry paste a yellow curry paste would be good red curry paste and I'm also using a shallot, an egg, half a cup of cooked rice, one large scallion, a can of coconut milk, some herbs, and then a tablespoon of fish sauce, but you can also use like a soy sauce or some salt, okay? So first I'll start by prepping my cabbage, and I need to clean real well the cabbage leaves. I need about 12 of these from the outside, and if you've watched my channel for any time at all, you know I love this little Chinese cabbage salad that I make every year, and so that's what I'll use the center for. I'll make sure to leave a link below the video if you've missed that recipe. So we'll just clean these outside leaves real well, and sometimes I like to also put in a little bit, um, like a little splash of vinegar in with the water and I just wash my cabbage leaves until the water runs clear so um, this will be my final wash here usually it takes about three times whenever I'm washing my leaves to make sure I get them nice and clean and so we want to blanch these in other words we're just going to cook them in hot water for about maybe about five minutes until they have softened nicely you don't really need to overcook these because we still need to work with them we don't want them falling apart or anything so um, I just want to let these cool and I actually went ahead and set these aside because I want to make my pork and get everything ready now I'm going to make a little bit of a sauce which I'm going to cook the cabbage rolls in and so I just split my lemongrass you can also just smash it if you want to you want to be able to break it open a little bit so that it can release some flavor and so I'll pour in one can of coconut milk and then I have a little bit of what I used to make the paste left over so I'm just adding that and a hot chili pepper and then some of my kaffir lime leaves so if you're using a store-bought paste just put about a tablespoon into this coconut milk sauce and you'll be fine a lot of flavor is going to be released as you cook those cabbage rolls it'll be released into the sauce so use most of your paste in the cabbage rolls which I'll show you here in just a minute I also added a little bit of fish sauce you could add a little soy sauce a little salt don't get too confused about this just make it your own um, your 
paste, whatever you buy, an Asian type of paste, will have a lot of different ingredients in it, a lot of different flavors, so a lot of what I'm actually using. So just get you a little bit of paste at your grocery store or an Asian market, okay? And you, you don't need to use a whole lot of it just to give it a little punch of flavor, okay? So I just cut down my pork chops that I found at the market on sale because I wanted the pork to be a little bit lean and I cut it down so it would be nice and easy to use in this little uh, grinder that I have. And so I went ahead and just ground down that pork and I'll leave a link below the video where I did a review on this machine and I really enjoyed using it. It has four different attachments and one of them happens to be this little meat grinder. And so after I ground down all of that, I wanted to go ahead and make a paste. Now here's an example of a paste you can find at your grocery store. It has all the flavors I'm using for my paste. But I'm making more of a yellow paste because I'm using turmeric and ginger. Um, I'm using some cumin and garlic, taffer lime zest, and a lot of just different flavors. And this is what I had left over stuck in the grinder. So that's why I added that to my coconut milk sauce. And so in goes a little bit of the lime zest. You can just use a regular lime also. A little bit of white pepper. And a little bit of pink salt. And then in goes my egg. So I have about four tablespoons of paste here. And I am just mixing in one egg. So if you're using a store-bought paste, it's going to be a little bit thicker than what I have here. So you might want to use like a little grinder of some sort and grind up your paste into maybe perhaps one shallot and that'll loosen it up and then you can add it to your egg. So to my ground pork, in goes my paste and egg mixture, the half a cup of cooked rice, and my herbs such as I'm using a scallion and some cilantro. And I'll cover this and put this in the refrigerator for about one hour or overnight. And then I divided them equally into 12 pieces. And now it's time to assemble the cabbage rolls into my little shallow baking dish here. I have my sauce that I made earlier with all of the lemongrass and chili and, this, and a little bit of the Thai paste. So when you're assembling your cabbage rolls, just take out like a little triangle there at the end of the cabbage leaf where it will be a little bit tough. This will make it easier to roll. So just take one and go over and then overlap that other flap there. Now fold in each side and now we can just go ahead and roll them right up and we'll put these right into the pan seam side down and I want just a little bit more liquid in here so I gave it a splash of water and we'll cover this tightly and into my preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit I let them cook about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes it really depends on how well you want those outside cabbage leaves cooked so there you go and now you'll want to serve this with a little bit of rice and whatever herbs you have around I suggest maybe some of the green parts of a scallion or I'm also using some cilantro and it's just really good give yourself a little bit of the sauce so you have a lot of flavor there I hope you can give it a try soon it's really delicious and I also like a little bit of lime juice right there on top so let me know if you have any questions and like I said I hope you can try it out soon I'll leave ingredients that I use down below the video but don't feel limited to what I used if you have a garden try to use whatever you're growing thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day